Hi, this is Ed Baig with USA Today. So Samsung recently came out with the Galaxy Note 4, a solid phablet type device, phablets being of course large screen smartphones. But it's not quite, Samsung would have you believe anyway, not quite on the cutting edge like this device. This is the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge, so named because if you look at the screen here, which is flat right up until the edge and then it kind of cascades off like a waterfall. Now I'll get to what you can do with this in a moment, but the, it's important to think of this as a Note 4 just with this extra screen function because like the Note 4, it's got an improved camera, it's got a large display, it uh, has that souped up S pen, the digital pen. Uh, it's very much a Note 4, but a more expensive one because of the display. Now what can you do in that little narrow slice of extra screen real estate. Well, some of what appears there will complement what's on the main display. Some of it is completely different. So you'll see icons for favorite apps, for example. You'll see a scrolling Wall Street or, you know, ticker or a Times Square-like ticker with stock prices, sports scores, and so on. You will see notifications of incoming calls or texts, uh, Facebook posts, that sort of thing. You could even play some games there. I played a memory match game. And you can pull down some tools, notably a ruler, which actually was one of my favorite things on this device. Now, it's important to kind of watch the space, I think, the whole sort of curved display space, the flexible display space. Um, this is one of the first devices I've seen that actually makes decent use of the curved display, but I'd like to see Samsung go even further and I also want to see how third-party developers ultimately end up embracing this extra little uh, piece of screen real estate assuming they do and how they do it that all remains to be seen now again I've only had the device for a few days no noticeable impact on battery life Samsung says you'll get about the same battery life as you will with the Note 4 it's an interesting device you'll pay about a hundred bucks more under a two-year contract there are, of course monthly options for um, financing the phone as well. So should you buy this thing? Well, if you're comparing it to the Galaxy Note 4, I'd say no, stick with the Note 4, the conventional phablet, if you will. That's not to say this is a device without a fair amount of potential, but I just don't think Samsung has done enough at this stage anyway to justify the extra hundred dollars or so you'd spend on it. And frankly, I also was distracted at times, using it, that could be a matter of getting used to it. But from my mind, I'm not ready to live on the edge just yet. Samsung's edge, that is. For USA Today, I'm Ed Begg, and I'll catch you next time.